How to Read a DNA Paternity Test Results If you've recently received the results of a DNA paternity test and are wondering what all the numbers and terms mean, you're in the right place. Let's break it down step by step so you can understand your results clearly. First, let's talk about what a paternity test actually does. It compares the genetic profiles of the child, the alleged father, and sometimes the mother to determine if there is a biological relationship. This is done by analyzing specific locations on the DNA, known as genetic markers or loci. When you get your test results, you'll see several key sections. One of the most important is the statement of results. Here you'll find out whether the alleged father is included or excluded as the biological father. If the statement says cannot be excluded, it means the tested man is likely the biological father as all the data supports this relationship. On the other hand, if it says is excluded, it means the tested man is not the biological father because the data does not support a relationship. Next, you'll see a table showing the genetic markers or loci that were analyzed. This table will list the alleles, which are the different forms of the genetic markers for each person tested. For example, if the child has alleles 15 and 18 at a particular marker, and the mother has alleles 14 and 15, then the father must have contributed the allele 18. If the alleged father has this allele, it supports the paternity claim. The Combined Paternity Index, CPI, is another crucial part of your results. This number tells you how many times more likely it is that the tested man is the biological father compared to a random man from the same ethnic background. A high CPI often exceeding 100,000, along with a probability of paternity of 99.99% or higher, is considered strong evidence of paternity. The probability of paternity is expressed as a percentage and indicates how likely it is that the tested man is the biological father. If this percentage is 99.99%, it means the test is very confident that the man is the father. If it's 0%, it means he is not the father. Sometimes the mother's DNA is included in the test, which can help strengthen the results, although it's not necessary. The test can still be accurate without the mother's sample, but having it can make the results more conclusive. In addition to these main sections, your report might include a verification section. This ensures that the results have been reviewed and verified by a scientific officer or lab director, and for legal tests, it will be signed and stamped by a notary public. Understanding these parts of your paternity test results will help you make sense of the complex data and give you clear answers to your questions about biological relationships.